Hello YouTubers, this is Adam here. Oh, stop shaking, man. Uh, I thought I'd do a special video today on my Xbox One and Wii U games. Just because, one, I have nothing better to do and I just thought I'd share some of the games I've played and give you my own personal thoughts on them. So, why don't we start with the Xbox games. So, the first game we got is... Oh, focus you damn camera. Tomb Raider. Now, I've got to say, this was a very interesting game. I really, really enjoyed, you know, being able to play as Lara Croft and uh, just going through quests and uh, killing bad guys and, like, climbing up certain areas. It's one of these games that's about adventure and discoveries. You know, it's really, really cool. Focus, you damn camera. I do okay that's better yeah it it's definitely a great game where you can just do pretty much anything when it comes to an adventure you know like the story itself is I'm not too bothered about the story I nearly said too keen but what I meant to say is I'm not really that bothered the story's alright you've got great weapons and selections of gear and you've got many other things as well Such it's a really good game you know, the way you can just do whatever you want when you're on a quest to discover something. So yeah, that's a good game. I have the sequel, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Which again, is just like the original, except it's something completely different. Uh, stories uh, pretty much similar to what it was before. You're on a journey and you're uh, exploring the tombs. And you basically... You just basically, like I said, it's just a survival adventure. You got more weapons. You've got more ability, more more things to do, I should say. So this was a really good game. I definitely like that. Uh, yeah, not much I can say really. Is that it's got a good story. Well, the story's all right. I'm not too bothered. And you can do anything you want, really. Right, this one. Saints Row 4 Re-Elected and Get Out of Hell. Now, I have played Saints Row 4, so we won't... All I can say is that is definitely a really good game. You know, just a bit of piss take on Grand Theft Auto, really. But all in all, just uh, some of the funny uh, weapons you have, some of the funny uh, levels you can do, the way you can customise your character any way you want. You can modify them into a way that makes them look... Not right, but you can also make them look as human as possible. The one I want to talk about is Gat Out of Hell. Now, Gat Out of Hell, I was disappointed. I honestly thought it was a good game, but they could have made it longer. I hope they do make a Saints Row 5, because I actually like the Saints Row games. I know some people might not be too picky, because they actually prefer Grand Theft Auto. Because that's what Saints Row is, it's just a Grand Theft Auto piss take. But I actually enjoyed, uh, sorry, I actually would have liked it if they made it longer in Get Out of Hell. But all in all, both games are alright. Ah, this is a good game. You all know this. Fallout 4. Now this, yes, I chose the uh, Institute ending, which I regret now because... There was a better ending towards it, but I just went with the floor. Uh, this game has got everything, you know. Such a wild, wild, like, map to explore. Bits and pieces to uh, savage. Uh, weapon and uh, armor customization. Companions and friends. Uh, just enemies to fight, bosses to kill. Just everything, really. And I definitely recommend this game. And believe it or not, this is my the first ever Fallout game I've played. I've never played any of the, pre uh, the, any of the prequels. Sorry, I mean the games before this. But all in all, it's a really good game. I definitely enjoyed it. I even have the hoodie, the Fallout 4 hoodie with Vault 111 written on it. So that's our right game. Right, now this game... I gotta admit, I, I actually was enjoying this game. It's basically, you play as a detective on his way to a mental hospital, but he ends up becoming a patient, and he has to try and fend off all these 
There's a mirror that leads you to another to a gateway to a, a complete and utter nightmare. However, I didn't complete this. It got to a point where it got so difficult I just could not get any further. I was too busy arsing around and I just thought to myself, oh, this is just getting... I can't do it, I just can't. And when I googled it, warning, he's a spoiler. It was all in his head, it was all a simulator in his head. I think that's right from what I've seen on YouTube, but it was an alright game for at the time. But it just got so difficult and I just got sick of it. So, never mind. Now, here's a good game, Dying Light. This is by far one of the best zombie games that I've seen. Dying Light itself, basically, I think you're in, what is it, South America or Bra somewhere in Brazil. I, I think that's where it's set. You basically play as a survivor. I know I'm saying basically a lot, so I do apologise. You play as a survivor and you have to be... Ugh. You play as a survivor and you have to... Fend off the undead, you can run, you can jump, you can climb very extremely high heights, use as many weapons as you wish, and um, it's a really good game, I definitely love it. I definitely recommend this to anyone. There's also um, a mode where you can play as a, a zombie creature, like a mutant zombie creature that feeds on humans. Now, but I like playing as the human. It's much better. So yeah, good game. Right, Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, as you know, I am a huge Grand Theft Auto fan. But I, I I just got fed up with Grand Theft Auto, to be honest with you. Especially GTA Online, because Rockstar have been releasing these new DLCs, but the problem is I am broke in Grand Theft Auto. And to be honest with you, I'm tired of doing the same, what was it, missions, the online missions, and... The only good thing that I enjoyed about it was heists. Heist was a definite improvement, but the pay was shit. And you know, I don't know why Rockstar are so anal about people using in-game counterfeit cash, like glitching. So what? That's the whole point of Grand Theft Auto. You're a criminal, and criminals make in uh, counterfeit cash. So why would they be so uptight about it? Putting you in a cheater pool. It just doesn't make any sense. But again, that's just my view. You don't have to agree with me. Uh, but Grand Theft Auto was alright for, for a certain degree. But all in all, I'm, I can't wait until Rockstar make GTA 6. Because I'm looking forward to that. Because I've been hearing stories on the internet. Rockstar are up to something. But they're like Area 51. They don't want people to know what's going on. So, all in all. Oh, moving on. Right, Guitar Hero Live. Now... There are two things I like about it. Sorry, there's there's a there's a one thing that I like about it, and there's another thing I don't like about it. The first thing is that I love how you can play it live in front of a crowd, and how you can um, what's the word? Uh, pick as many 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 songs as you want compared to the old guitar heroes, which is great. But the other thing that I don't like the one thing that I don't like about it is is that. You can't keep, I mean, I don't know, I've tried playing it as better, best as I can, but I just don't like the ability that you've got in-game coins, and you have to, if you want to play the same song again, you have to buy it, and if you don't have enough, you it doesn't work. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I hope I'm making sense. I, I, prefer, I prefer the old options of Guitar Hero, where you could easily pick a... You could easily pick a song whenever you want after unlocking it and playing it as much as you want without any restrictions. But all in all, it's a good game. It's definitely an improvement. It's different. It's a wholly brand new Guitar Hero, so... Oh, that's alright. So, moving on. I'm going to show you my Wii U games now. So, right. So, this Wii U game that I've got is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. This game was okay. However, it had a ton of glitches and bugs. This game, you basically play as Sonic and Friends and you have to stop this bad guy. Like all the classic Sonic games. Like all the, as the Sonic games go, I should say. But this game was just, it just was too glitchy. It was just, you know, it just had so many bugs and it was, very, it just, I don't know how to describe it. But I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but... 
the guys at Sega could have really fixed this game up a bit better, but oh well. Ah, Super Mario 3D Land. Sorry, 3D World, I should say. I actually like this game. I've always been a Mario fan. And, you know, this game has just got so many great levels and gameplay that is fun for everyone. So many uh, features that Mario, Luigi and Peach can do. Costumes to dress up, special powers and all that. I definitely recommend this one for your collection if you're a Mario fan. Yeah, really cool. Right. Nintendo Land. Now this game is actually quite entertaining. You basically can play on your own or play in a team. But it requires, um, you know, we, uh, we can re Wii remotes to play it, obviously. But there's so many great mini games you can play as on this. You can do you can have you can unlock like features for your own little theme park because you have your own area on the map where you can see other people's me's wandering around and if you get close wandering around if you get close to them you can actually see where they're from and what their their slogan is about like they have a speech bubble above their head. But all in all the games in this are absolutely entertaining. I used to when I first got this with a Wii U, me and my friends used to spend hours like playing you know, like mini games. Oh, focus, focus. Come on, focus, you damn camera. Mini games, uh, two player games, you name it. So, really good game. Really good. Ah, Sonic Lost World. Now, I actually found this really entertaining. This game was a real. This was. I know some people may not have liked it, but I actually did enjoy it. I certainly prefer it to Sonic. Prefer it. Then I prefer this better than Sonic Boom. Uh, Sonic Lost World, defeat the bosses, and um, do pretty much anything really, just like the old classic Sonic games. More levels to uh, more levels to play, and uh, you, you know how Sonic goes. I definitely recommend this game. Right now, here's a game that all you zombie fans can relate to. Yep, it's Zombie You. This game is just incredible. I spent. I even spent all night playing this one time. And this game has got so many good features. It actually feels like a proper horror game. As you can tell by the 18th certificate. You're in London. You have to fend off the zombies. Like, you know, gather supplies. Do missions and all that. This game really, really is just awesome. I absolutely do love this game. And I definitely recommend it to all you zombie fans out there. I know now you can get it on Xbox One and PS4, but I prefer it on the Wii U. The ability, because there's a, a thing in the game called the Prepper Pad, and using your Wii U tab... I mean, this came out on Wii U first, but where you can use your tablet in order to scan for things and see if the zombies are coming. Yeah, I definitely recommend it getting on the Wii U version. It's more fun. All right, that's it. That's my Xbox One games and Wii U games. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.